A hundred years ago, Henry Ford and Thomas Edison were friends. They were rivals, but they were friends. And they made a bet as to how the cars of the future would evolve. Edison thought it would be the electric car. And he pioneered many inventions in batteries. Ford said, nah, no way. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fossil fuels. It's gonna be gasoline. Well, everybody knows who won. But the real question is, who will win in the future? Will Thomas Edison have his revenge? And the answer is very simple. It comes from physics. If you take gasoline, realize that in some sense, you're looking at concentrated sunlight. Concentrated sunlight since the time of the dinosaurs. It is packed with energy. Per kilogram, the number of joules of energy inside gasoline is much larger than the energy content of a battery. So it takes a very large, cumbersome battery to compensate for the energy contained in gasoline, which is really quite efficient. It's been refined over decades, pollutes like hell, but it is very efficient. That's why we need a new generation of batteries. Some people think that nano batteries may be the future. It turns out that if you want to store energy, you can store energy in parallel plates. These are called capacitors, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus plates. Plates can be made extremely thin, as thin as molecules, meaning that in principle, you can store an enormous amount of energy using carbon nanofibers and plates called graphene. Some people think that nanotechnology may give us super batteries, but not yet. Nanotechnology is still in its infancy, so we just have to get used to the fact that gasoline is still very efficient.